Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Katie Pack, has brought me a great black walnut cake recipe. This is a black walnut pound cake. Started with a pound cake recipe that you kind of improvised. I added, um, I just got a basic wa uh, pound cake recipe, and then I just added the walnuts to it and some different items to just change it into my own recipe. And you tested it a few times until you found out right. exactly what worked for you. Right. And I think you're like me. You live in the country, and you have black walnuts bountiful, and you don't let them lay on the ground in ruin. Right. So you take a black walnut, and you get your sweet husband to sit down, and instead of watching football, he shells black walnuts. And then we end up with this. Right. And this is wonderful because these smell so good. These were literally laying on the farm ground for years, and nobody picked them up. And today, in three minutes, we picked this many up. So um, it's bounty that doesn't cost you a penny, and your husband's labor doesn't cost you anything, does it? I can make the cake. Well, that's okay. That's okay. So you make the cake. He and Kayla enjoy the cake, and that's the end of the story. So we're going to share the ingredients with you now. Now, tell us what the ingredients are. You have to have two sticks of softened butter, three cups of sifted all-purpose flour, and you, you sift in your baking powder with that. It's two teaspoons, four eggs, two and a half cups of sugar, one cup of milk, and two cups of black walnuts. You, know, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Um, first, you want to mix your butter and your sugar together, and then add one egg at a time, blend it up, and then add another egg. And Basically eggs. creaming it, so you just cream it as you're doing it. Okay. And then you take your flour and your baking powder that you've already sifted together, and you mix that to your creamed butter and sugar. But you want to rotate it. You want to put the flour, then the milk, then the flour, then the milk. And when that's done, you add your walnuts last, and then you want to pour it into a uh, into your bump pan. Um, I always use like Pam or Baker's Joy. You just spread mm -hmm. it good so it won't thick. And then you bake it at 350 degrees for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. It varies depending on your oven. Right. And you just need to take a toothpick and you can poke it until it's done. And it smells wonderful cooking. It does. It smells wonderful cooking. And, and in the winter and in the fall, there's nothing that smells better than black walnuts. So um, this is a great holiday recipe. This is a recipe that you could make and give as a gift. Mm -hmm. Because when, when your husband told me about this recipe, I couldn't wait to have you here because I couldn't wait to taste this cake. And he says it is award-winning. He brags on this cake okay. all the time. So I think this is going to be a great one. Now, on the glaze, it's, it's fairly simple, too. Now, what do you do with the glaze? Um, you take two cups of sugar, one stick of butter, a half a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and you just put it in a pan on, on the stove and bring it to a boil for about a minute. And then you just beat it for just about a minute so it cools. And then you want to immediately pour it over the cake, but pour it slowly so that it you know, won't all run off at one time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let it. it cool just a little bit. Just a little bit. And serve it with hot coffee, hot chocolate, or a Diet Coke. I think a Diet Coke would be good <laughs> with black walnut cake. you got to cut those calories, you know. So Now we're going to get to see your cake, and we're going to get to taste this cake. And I'm really looking forward to it. Miss Katie, this cake lives up to my expectations. And Mitchell, you didn't fib about this one. This is a to die for cake. And Miss Katie, I'm going to give you the first piece. You're going to sample, and you're going to tell Mom how good it is, and you're going to tell me, does it need Cool Whip, or can we do without the Cool Whip this time? What do you think? It doesn't need, doesn't need Cool Whip. This is a great winning recipe. It doesn't need Cool Whip. You won. You won the prize. The Black Walnut Bake Off is official. Miss Katie is the winner. This is a great recipe, guys. Thanks for sharing it with me. If you have recipes you want us to try, send them to ngn at lj.com. Remember, part of the home every Thursday night. Tune in every week, guys. We'll be back.